name's Logan Paul, and I, I think I'm coming out of the Flat Earth closet. Yes, you heard that right. Controversial YouTube star Logan Paul laying it down in the trailer for his film about the Flat Earth movement. Do you think the Earth is flat? The Earth is flat. I believe the Earth is flat. The Earth is flat. Internet headlines declaring YouTube's baddest bad boy had finally lost it. But it was all a prank. Well, now that it's all over, do you think the Earth is flat? No, I don't think the Earth is flat. I think that's the dumbest shit I've heard in my life. It turns out Paul's YouTube movie, Flat Earth to the Edge and Back, is a mockumentary, a flip satire following Paul and his team to a Flat Earth conference, where he pretends to embrace the idea that the world is not round. Logan, Paul. Several hundred attended the conference, some thinking Paul was sympathetic. But now some saying Paul's trick is not funny. I was deceived, I was lied to. I honestly really did believe he was genuine. Okay, now let's get one thing straight. The Earth is round. You know it, I know it, Logan Paul knows it. But his latest stunt highlights the gray area between free speech and the power of online platforms to spread misinformation, conspiracy theories, and outright lies. Explain to me what kind of space YouTube is for mistruths. It's ground zero. Unfortunately, step one is we have to rely on people to be independently smart enough to say this seems ridiculous and to seek out information from sources that are, are verifiable and trustworthy. Logan Paul's belief in a flat earth was a joke, but it's a totally serious endeavor for a significant number of believers. One plus one. Two. In 2017, Nightline's Eva Pilgrim went to that same flat earth conference Paul went to. And the Earth is... Flat. When it comes to science, there's things you can test right now, right? Fire burns, water's wet, drops something, falls to the ground, that appears to be gravity. Those are things you can test, right? But the curving horizon, the sloping sea level, the spin of the Earth. Flat Earthers say unless you can see these phenomena with your own eyes, they may not be true. A right? lot of people are going, this is This is crazy, crazy right? <laughs> but think about this. For the last 20, 25 generations, this is what we've told people. The flat earth idea seems to have gotten renewed traction in 2015 with this guy. And one of the rules of power is you never admit that there's someone bigger than yourself. Mark Sargent posted his alleged flat earth proof in a YouTube series that has had more than 2 million views. Part of a series of clues that can help you get your head around both the design of the flat earth system we live in. You're kind of the like father of this oh, movement. Boy, how, don't, how would you? <laughs> don't do you're that. You're the one who sort of started it all. I did not invent flat earth. All I did was walk up to a door, point at it, say, you know what? I think there's some really interesting things on the other side of this, and check it out for yourself. If Flat Earth is a university, you know, FEA, then I would be the freshman recruiter. But at an actual university... The Earth is a sphere, oblate spheroid if you want to get technical. Jim Davis is a professor at Columbia University's Earth Observatory. If you were to ask me why the Earth is round, the simple answer would be gravity. Gravity pulls the same in every direction. It pulls all the matter of the Earth into a sphere. That gravity is the same thing that holds us to the Earth. And so this one sort of simple theory explains just this huge number of things. If you take away one of those pieces, then suddenly a whole bunch of things don't work. Professor Mike Massimino spent more than 20 days in space and worked on the Hubble telescope. So when you looked at the planet, mm -hmm. what did it look like? It looks round, folks. <laughs> and I looked at it as much as I could. It is round. Logan Paul's Flat Earth mockumentary now has more than 3.5 million views. The truth sets you free. Who is Logan Paul? Logan Paul had a startling rise from Viner to YouTuber um, and has become an internationally known celebrity. He does a lot of pranks, raucous behavior. Um, your teenager likely knows who Logan Paul is. No, no, you're the son there. This mockumentary is not the first time he's courted controversy. His most infamous act was vlogging a dead body he found hanging in the so-called suicide forest in Japan. Paul apologized, saying he had intended for that video to raise awareness for suicide and suicide prevention. Is he more famous and more shameless? He's certainly shameless, absolutely. Love him or hate him, Paul's influence is massive. Nearly 19 million subscribers to his YouTube channel. He's rumored to have raked in almost $15 million last year from videos, brand deals, and merchandise. So when Robbie Davidson, founder of the Flat Earth International Conference, saw Paul's name on the registration list for the 2018 event, 
he did a double take. I noticed the name and I said, Logan Paul, I know that name. Davidson says Paul's assistant told him that Paul was curious about the Flat Earth Movement after a friend allegedly told him he was a believer. Davidson says Paul sounded genuine. Now, there were red flags that went up with other people, but I was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. On the conference in second day, Davidson says Paul asked to say a few words to the crowd. And, uh, he still wasn't coming out as a bona fide flat earther, but he was saying it's interesting and it was resonating with him. I was there um, and I heard that talk where he seemed to indicate he was a flat earther. My name is Logan Paul and I, I think I'm coming out of the flat earth closet. Some people were really enthusiastic that they had a pretty big name person in the scene now with them, but some other people thought that he was just there for a hoax. Fast forward a few months, the film drops and the parody is laid bare. I felt sick to my stomach. I actually had the view that it might be neutral. I never ever thought that it would be a positive piece. I thought that he'd had humor in it, but I thought he would get people kind of just questioning things. It's okay to just, let's have this dialogue. But again, it was a mockery from start to finish. Did he go too far or is it just him being him? And this was definitely more nuanced humor, but also certainly cruel. What I thought would have been better if he could have done it was to examine YouTube's role in pushing the flat earth theory because it's so complicit in that. And I thought to have a YouTuber really address his own medium and how it shapes flat earth would have been fantastic. But that's not the documentary we got. Logan Paul did not respond to Nightline's request for comment. Do you think online platforms have a responsibility to make clear the distinction between fact and fiction? Absolutely. It's something that we're seeing a lot of platforms really putting, putting muscle behind now in 2019. But unfortunately, it's a little too late. These things have spread so massively that, that putting that back in the box is, is all but impossible. YouTube said that over the last year, they have, quote, worked to better surface credible news sources across our site for people searching for news-related topics, begun reducing recommendations of borderline content that could misinform users in harmful ways, and introduce information panels to help give users more sources where they can fact-check information. There are a growing number of people who believe the earth is flat. This is nothing new. It's now just, it's in your pocket. Where before, the guy knocking on your door selling you a hoax truly might have had to come to your front door, and now, now it's much, much easier to access you. Yes, we do live in a brave new world, but some truths are as old as time. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.